Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP scripts and in the previous video, we activated the SAP script, we provided one paragraph format by default, we provided the initial page in the SAP script and then we activated the SAP script. After that, we tested the script by going to utilities and printing test. We passed the output device and we are able to see the printing test. Now the question comes, we are able to see the labels only, labels, but about values, value of order number, order date, payment mode, total amount, currency, order item number, item cost, but about the values. Yes, in the various text elements, if you remember, we have written work area hyphen column name, work area hyphen column name for all these things. Now the question comes, we have not declared the work areas, we have not declared the internal table, we have not written the logic to fetch data from order header table and order item table. Now the question comes, where, where we need to write the logic. Now the most, most important part is we will not write the logic in the script. We will write the logic in the program. Most, most important part we will write the logic to fetch data from header table, item table in the program and from the program, yes, we will simply, simply pass the values to the script. Most, most important point from the interview perspective. If you see, in case of smart form, you have an option you can write the logic in the initialization part of the smart form. You can create program lines. You can write the logic there. But in case of script, we will write the logic in the program. And from the program, we will pass the values to the SAP script. In case of smart form, you have an option. You can write the logic in the program or you can write the logic in the initialization tab of the smart form. You can write the logic in the program lines. So in the smart form, you have a provision, but in script, we will write the logic in the program only program only. So what I will do, I will create a program in the program. Firstly, I will write the logic to fetch data from header table item table then we will learn how to pass those values to this particular script how to pass the header data and item data to the script now what i will do i will create a program and you can understand in a way also the topic is how to call a sap script from the program during smartphone also, we covered the topic, how to call a smartphone from the driver program. Here we can understand in a way, how to call a SAP script from the program. So I will write Z calling SAP script. I will go for create. I will give some title to the program. Calling the SAP script from the program. I will take the type as executable program. We'll go for save. Suppose I will save this program as a local object. Now you can see what will be the input for this program? We have a layout for single order number, single order number. 
So what will be the input for this program? Input for this program will be order number and we will go for single order number. And you all know very well, whenever we want to go for single order number, we will take the, whenever we want to go for single input of order number, we'll go for parameters. The keyword is parameters. I will give P underscore O N O time. I will pass the data element of the order number. I will go to the table. This is the data element of the order number. I'll check the syntax and activate. I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements selection text. I will activate this checkbox. And this description is coming from data element. So our input is ready. Now we will see what we want to print from header table. Header table, how many column? One, two, three, four, five. So I will go for five columns from header table, two columns from item table. So it means I require two internal tables, one for header, one for item. Yes, we all know very well whenever we want internal table. So firstly, we will create structure. For the header table, we will create a structure of five column. For the item table, we will go for structure of three column. Why three column? Because anyways, order number is common between both of them. So I will create a structure. You all know how we can create a structure through types. Begin off. Suppose my name of the first structure type is LTY underscore data local type. Best way, I will just copy paste. Order number, type, data element of order number. Now I will go for order date, type, data element of order date. Third column, payment mode, type. Whatever the columns we want in the output, so I'm creating a structure for the same. Total amount. Type. Total amount. Now I will go for currency. Type. Currency. Sorry. I will copy the data element again. I will end this particular structure. Now I will declare internal table and work areas. LT underscore data type table of. We all know whenever we are referring structure type, it should be type table of. Now I am declaring work area. Control D, I duplicated the line. Work area is never type table of. Work area is always type. Now I will declare another structure for item table. Now from item table, I require three columns. So I will open the item table and copy paste. Order number, I will take because it is common. Type. Data element of order number. Then we have order item number. Type 
data element of order item. Now I will go for item cost. I will end this particular structure also. Now I will declare internal table and work areas. LD data one, data one, data one, data. I'll check the syntax and activate up to this level. Now I will write the queries. We will write the open SQL queries. Select. From the header table, I want to fetch the data of how many column? Five column. So I will write five column. Order number, order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. I will fetch from which table? Order header table. Z O R D H. I will fetch from header table and we will store into internal table. LT underscore data. Now I will pass the where condition. O number is equal to P underscore O and O. We all know input is always on the right hand side and we are going for parameters. So we have to use equal to. So if I will give one order number is equal to one, it will fetch that data of order number one. It will fetch that data of this five column from this table and data will come into this internal table. Now you all know very well, whenever we want to fetch data from dependent tables or secondary tables, or foreign key table, we need to check for size sub RC equal to zero or internal table is not initial condition. Is not initial miss, is not null, is not blank. If we are able to get that data from the first table, then we will be able, then we will only fetch the data from the dependent table or secondary table. Only in that case, I will write select order number, order item number, item cost, three columns. From which table? Order item table now. I will store into internal table. Now we all know whenever we want to fetch data from dependent table, what is the keyword we need to use? For all entries in first internal table. Where order number is equal to first internal table order number. It means first internal table order number will act as a input for the second table order number. It will fetch the data of these three column and data will come into this particular internal table. I'll check the syntax and I will activate it. And for the second table also, we all know input is on the right hand side. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started, yes, how we will display the values or data in the SAP script. It means we need to write the logic. We need to go for the declaration of work area, internal table. We need to write the queries. So we will not write the queries or declarations in the script. We will always, always do these things in the driver program or we can say program itself. In smart form, 
you have both the options available. You can write the logic in the program. You can pass the data to the smart form. In the smart form itself, you have an option to write the logic. You can write the logic in the initialization. You can write the logic in the program lines. But in the script, it is never, never possible. You need to compulsory write the logic in the program. Then we will only, then we will pass that data to the script. So in the script, it will only, only display. Most important difference from the interview perspective is in case of script, we are writing the logic in the program. But in smart form, you have an option to write the logic in the smart form also using initialization and program line step. So we have written the logic to fetch data from header table. We have written the logic to fetch data from item table. In the next video, we will learn how to pass this data to the script so that it will display in the script. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.